Welcome back to another OpenTunes tutorial. In this video, we're going to be using the plastic tool to create a mesh from some images that we bring in. So we're actually going to use a picture image like this with the transparent background, and then we'll use um, some vector art that's been exported as a PNG. So it should be really, really cool. Um, this is kind of a precursor to using the skeleton tool uh, and maybe using the hook tool as well. So I would say that's why I'm doing this one first. So the plastic tool, well, let me just show you. So first of all, let's bring in this dog, okay? We'll just import it right in here. And now we have a new level called dog. And all we have to do is, uh, if we just click on the actual um, drawing, and then we click over here to the plastic tool, we see we can't do anything with it. But what we have to do is actually go to create mesh. So it doesn't matter if we're selected on the drawing or on uh, with, the, with the frame in here. We just need to first create a mesh before we can use the tool. So we just click create mesh. And it brings up this dialog here that shows us what this mesh will look like. And we can adjust this if we want to have more or less complexity, maybe for this one about there. Because the the more we have, the more intensive it's going to be on our computer for processing. Um, and it'll just behave differently. So I'm going to come here and hit apply. So what this does, it creates a mesh over top of this um, image. And it also puts it a new layer with the mesh that we can see just the mesh that it created or we can turn off the mesh and see just the original, but they're linked to each other. Um, so what that means is we need to build a skeleton that's tied to this mesh. So to do that, while this plastic tool is selected and after we've already created the mesh, we go to build skeleton. So you might be on like edit mesh by default, but we wanna go to build skeleton. And the first point we click on is going to be the anchor point that can never move. So it's a good idea in this case to maybe do it the center. Maybe we'll do it like right here um, at the next right there. And then we can just come up and draw some different points. So we can do click up here. Um, if you're not sure what's going on, just don't, maybe don't worry. You'll see in a second here. So I'm clicking these points. I'm just, all I'm doing is left mouse clicking. I'm not using any keyboard shortcuts. I'm just kind of left mouse clicking to create kind of a bone structure for parts of this uh, dog that I want to move. And um, we'll come down here with this one. And it takes some experimenting to see how this actually works out. But once we have this, this skeleton drawn over top of the mesh, what we can do is go to uh, animate. And now when we move these nodes, like this part, we can actually move that part of the head. This maybe looks better. So we can actually take just this simple 2D single frame and we can change, we can wag the tail, we can make the legs come up like this. <laughs> I mean, we can do some great stuff, right? And it's all just really cool. So this mesh tool you're seeing is like super amazing because then all of a sudden what we do is we take an animate, we take and uh, extend this way, way, way down um, on both of them. And we can actually adjust this, adjust the key frames of this like we did before. So now we have a key set here and all we have to do is go down and change it uh, at this point, so now we maybe do like something like this, and um, it'll, it's actually setting, changing the keyframes of each of these. Um, I don't know. Let me just adjust this a little bit here. Boom, and we'll wag the tail a little bit. So now, when we play our animation, we loop through. We can see we've created this sort of running. Um, we could loop this over and over again and get it just right so that it looks like it's running. We can see what it looks like with the mesh turned off and we can sp speed it up to maybe, I don't know, just see what it looks like a little bit faster, even faster than that. Woohoo! So now we have this running dog animation from just a picture with a transparent background. Really, really cool stuff. If we ever want to get in and edit, so I, I can click here to see the this skeleton again, we can go back to build skeleton and we can actually change some of where these where these go. We can double click to add a new one in, or we can click on one and hit the delete key to delete a certain point if we don't want to have that be a control point. We can also edit the actual mesh in here. It gets a little bit more advanced, but we can actually edit this mesh and change it around too. So if there's a certain part, like we don't want that ear, or like around the mouth or, or the nose, we might want to change like parts of this so that it doesn't get as distorted when certain other parts move. We could do that as well. All right, I'm gonna bring in another one just for an example. So let's just go new scene 
We'll go discard just to show you that we can also do this with an actual picture. So this is a picture with a transparent background. And you have to have that because when we go to build the mesh, if it has a background, it's going to confuse and, and the whole the whole thing is just not going to work. So you have to have, it's good to have a transparent background, especially if you're using a real picture like this. So again, what we do, we click on the plastic tool first. And then we have the, the circle with the line through it saying like, we can't use this here. So all we have to do is create a mesh first. So create mesh, and then it does this. I might give this one a little bit more complexity, maybe like something like this, and go apply. And now we have to build the, so we can, we're in the mesh edit tool like we were in before. We don't really want to change any of that. Just go to build skeleton. And the first point we click is going to be the point that's not moved. Oh, I didn't show that in the last one. So I'm going to want to do it right down here at the base. So this is the point that will never move, that will never bend. So it's a good idea to have it be the base in this case, or like a, a foot or the center of an object. But then we'll just click up a few times and we'll get, do a couple different points here and then we'll come out and just sort of do you know any points that we want to be able to move we could do maybe on this side we can even do a finger or something maybe I don't know if we can or not let's do like yeah let's have the thumb maybe move separately oh I did that wrong so I need, I need to click on this and go delete what I actually want to do is have it be like this so the thumb comes out of there anyway and now all I have to do is go to um, animate and I can leave the mesh on but I'll just turn it off because it oh no I want I need to keep it on while I animate so I can see where it's at and let's just come down here we'll bring down some keyframes down to about 39 or so on both of these and then we'll just uh, yeah change this around so we'll set again if you didn't watch the keyframe tutorial check out the last one what when we move this first of all it'll set the key and then when we go down to the next one it'll change it so if we want the head to change like this so now that's just happening like that. So if we watch this, it's just gonna slowly just be like that. And if we want these arms to do something different, we can also move them. So we will just have them be like here at the beginning. And then we'll come down here and we'll move these arms down. And just because I did this thumb, I'm gonna wanna, I just wanna see if I can control. Oh, it distorts the thumb a little bit. That didn't work out as well as I thought it would. It moves that other finger too. <laughs> but anyway, so now we can turn off the mesh and we can watch and see what this looks like. So now we have a nice little animation here. And I was even playing with it earlier. What, what was I doing? I think I think I got in and I was able to uh, change this if we go to build skeleton a little bit more. I think I, I forget what I did. I think I did this. You tie this to the corners of the mouth and then you can actually, we can actually have the mouth, um, oops, go back to the animate mode. And then we change these a little bit like this. And then we can actually make a kind of a more smile <laughs> that thing here. And so then we can get in here and just really kind of, it's cool, it's fun, huh? Anyway, super powerful tool. Super, super amazing, really stable, and just like, it just works really, really well. So bef in, the, in the maybe pretty soon here, we're gonna do some future um, tutorials talking about like a paper doll style um, rigging and character and, and adding bones, which is really cool too. But this is just a nice quick way um, using this plastic tool to actually get in and animate um, an existing image without doing a whole lot of work. So hopefully you found that informative. Go ahead and play with that. Just make sure you create your mesh first um, and then build your, your skeleton properly and uh, should have no problems. Go ahead and leave your questions, comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.